India's space program took a huge leap when it succeeded at the very first attempt in sending an operational mission to Mars. Launched on the 5th of November 2013, this is Mangalyaan, India's Mars Orbiter mission spacecraft. On the 24th of September 2014, when the Mangalyaan space probe entered orbit of the planet Mars, India became the first nation in the world to achieve the feat on the first attempt. With this mission, ISRO became the fourth space agency to reach the Red Planet, after Russia's Roscosmos, United States NASA and the European Space Agency. What sets Mangalyaan apart from other Mars missions conducted by these global space agencies is how cost-effective it is. The total cost of the mission was approximately 450 crore Indian rupees or 73 million US dollars. If you have to go to the auto rickshaw from one side to the other side, then you will get 8 rupees per kilometer. हम मंगलायन किया एक किलोमीटर का सिर्फ सात रुपया खर्चा आया इतना ही नहीं अमेरिका में हॉलीवुड की जो फिल्म बनती है हॉलीवुड की फिल्म का जो खर्चा होता है उससे भी कम खर्चे में भारत के वैज्ञानिकों ने साइंटिस्टों ने टेक्नीशियनों ने मार्स मिशन का खर्चे कम खर्चे में पूरा किया this cost is less than what Hollywood spent in the making of the movie Gravity. It had a budget of $100 million. Even the movie Martian cost more than Mangalyaan. Mangalyaan captured the imaginations of ordinary Indians and years later inspired the Bollywood movie Mission Mangal. But eight years later, on the 2nd of October last year, the orbiter lost communication with the ground station after entering a seven-hour eclipse period in April 2022 that it was not designed to survive. Later, ISRO released a statement that the Mars orbiter craft ran out of propellant and its battery drained beyond the safe limit and declared it dead. Despite being designed for a lifespan of six months as a technology demonstrator, the orbiter lived for about eight years in the Martian orbit. The first interplanetary spacecraft mission may have ended, but it is regarded as a remarkable technological and scientific feat. On the 27th of March 2019, India demonstrated its capability to intercept a satellite in outer space. The DRDO developed anti-satellite system, ASAT, dubbed as Mission Shakti, successfully destroyed a live satellite in the low Earth orbit. India, however, made it clear that its space capabilities aren't directed against anyone and that the government is committed to safeguarding the country's national security interest. What are anti-satellite or ASAT weapons? Anti-satellite weapons or ASAT are space weapons designed to attack moving satellites for strategic purposes. So far, the United States, China and Russia were the only ones that have reported the ability to shoot down space objects from the ground or airborne sources. Mission Shakti was important because of two reasons. One, India became only the fourth country to acquire such a specialized and modern expertise. And two, the entire effort is indigenous. With the successful execution of Mission Shakti, India secured a place in the Space Power League. A significant headway in space technology will be the ambitious Gaganyaan. ISRO will launch two initial missions later this year under the Gaganyaan program, followed by the country's maiden human spaceflight mission in 2024. The second part of the mission will carry a female robot, Vyomitra, to space. The Indian Air Force identified four fighter pilots as the potential crew for the human spaceflight mission. 
Gaganyaan mission hopes to safely transport astronauts to space and, more crucially, bring them back to the Earth's surface. From the 8th to the 10th of August this year, ISRO successfully conducted a series of drogue parachute deployment tests at the rail track rocket sled RTRS facility in Chandigarh. Drogue parachutes are deployed to stabilize the crew module and reduce its velocity to a safe level. With the successful execution of Gaganyaan, India will establish its progress towards a sustained and affordable human and robotic program to explore the solar system and beyond. In 2017, India created history by successfully launching 104 satellites on a single mission. Overtaking the previous record of 37 satellites put up by Russia in 2014. The launch took place from Sri Harikota Space Center in South India. Observers saw it as a sign that India is emerging as a major player in the multi-billion dollar space market. And the year 2023 has been a crucial year for India's space mission. On the 30th of July this year, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, better known as PSLV by ISRO, placed seven Singaporean satellites into the near-equatorial orbit after their successful launch from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Harikota. Now ISRO is gearing up for its next big mission. This one is not to reach the moon, but the sun. Aditya L1 will be India's first mission to the Sun. It is expected to be launched sometime in early September this year. Aditya L1 aims to study the solar corona, solar emissions, solar winds and flares, coronal mass ejections, besides performing imaging of the Sun round the clock. And in the month of July this year, India launched its third moon mission, aiming to be the first to land near its South Pole. It will mark the country's arrival as a power in space exploration and the new frontier of space commerce. As of today, Chandrayaan-3 continues its journey, bringing India one step closer to making its mark on the lunar surface. Is India to become the next space superpower?